Greetings YouTube, Skill Incarnate bringing you all the latest indie gaming goodness. Today we're doing the second part of my challenge series for the You Have One Day Challenge. And to start off, I have been absolutely floored by the response to my first episode of this series. People are loving it and uh, I'm, I'm absolutely stunned by the response, it's been fantastic. And in particular, I have to do my shout out for two, two uh, of my subscribers, Miguel Angel and Leandro R. Uh, you guys know who you are. They're two uh, Project Zomboid players who are somewhat of, of experts and have actually given me some very useful advice, which I actually intend to, to use for this playthrough. And the advice was to create a floating base. Now to do that, I will need to look for the advanced carpentry book. I will need the uh, the farming book wouldn't uh, wouldn't hurt as well. Farming for beginners, I think I've got that already. Yeah, I do. So I'm looking for the advanced carpentry. Carpentry for beginners. I may need to do a little bit of searching to find it. This is this isn't a very big town, but um, I'm hoping there'll be. There will be some bookshelves that we can we can loot. Uh, that's a one-story house. I think we've, we've looked at that. So the, the, what my shopping list is going to be for today is the advanced carpentry book. That's uh, that's number one. Uh, a car, a uh, farming book if I can find it. And finally, I want to grab some wood. And also, if I can find it, some axes. So hopefully we'll we'll have a bit of luck with that. And then what I'm going to do is to level up my carpentry skill to level 6. And once I've done that, I will be able to construct a staircase. And then my, uh, the, yeah, the, the two subscribers, uh, Miguel and, uh, and also um, Leandro, have said that I will be able to cut down... The staircase and essentially create a floating base so I've, I've never tried this before it's going to be very interesting but uh, they assure me they've done it and um, and the, I believe that uh, Miguel's actually created a uh, video and I'll, I'll link that he actually successfully created a floating base and it was I was very impressed so I'm gonna try and follow his example and do it myself Hey, if I don't get stabbed, or uh, bitten, I should say. So I'm, I'm only really worrying about the uh, beginner books, so... There we go. Oh, here we go, what's this? This is this looks like a, a bar, so we'll... One other piece of advice they gave me was the usefulness, once you've got a floating base, of using fire. So they... Um, they created some fires to clean the zombie hordes out. So I'm also going to be grabbing uh, grabbing some fire items, so some whiskey, to make some Molotov cocktails. Could be quite useful. And we're going to... Oh, I, think, I think that's going to do it. So let's head down to the south. Another piece of advice I was given is that there's actually another hardware store, a larger hardware store to the south. And in that hardware store I should be able to find some pallets of wood. And maybe maybe a couple of fire axes so I can cut down some trees. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to head that way now. And I'm probably going to have to sacrifice a couple of days in reading these books and then a couple more days in grinding my my carpentry skill to the point where I can I can build myself a a staircase. Um, now I believe you can build the staircase at level six, but I I did take the carpentry trait, so leveling up shouldn't be too much of a problem for me. If I was a non-carpenter, then the advice they gave me probably wouldn't work. So, 
I, I, I've been fortunate in that regard, and it seems that of all the skills, the the carpentry skill is the most useful, and everyone seem, including me, seems to default to that. Because uh, carpentry unlocks so many useful. Oh, that was an Alice pack. It was excellent. So what we'll do is we'll um, quit that secondary. There we go. Got a nice big bag now. And we'll we'll go. Let's go fill it up at the hardware store. It's one of these buildings here. I'm just not sure which one. I should have actually looked at the map. Okay, this looks like a uh, a bookstore. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. This looks interesting. Now I'm using a screwdriver, but um, it's obviously a little bit damaged, and I'm gonna I'm looking for a replacement weapon. And there's the uh, there's the petrol station. Okay, interesting. Let's have some something to eat. This looks like a pretty promising base. I'm not being very careful, which is probably not a good idea. We'll head back downstairs. I, I don't think this is the hardware store. This looks like a bookstore. Let's head down here. It's definitely one of these stores. Ah, here we go. So just have this to clean this out. Ah, we've hit the mother load. So what I'm going to do is start off with some boxes of nails. Ah, pallet of lumber. Excellent. We definitely want that. I've got a saw already. So grab all the nails. I can grab boxes of screws. I, don't, I can't remember what screws are used for. I think they're a Hydrocraft specific item. But I'll grab a box just in case. Ah, there we go. Replacement screwdriver. I'm not going to be doing a lot of... Uh, Gonna be doing a lot of electricity based stuff here. Grab a hammer, I'll need that. Uh, twine wire, nothing there that I really, really need. We'll take the boxes of screws. Uh, axe, we'll definitely want one of those. Now I'm taking lots of nails because I want to. Um, I'm going to try and build some stuff out of wood to level up my carpentry skill. And uh, wood glue, I might need that to repair my axe. Oh, there's another pallet of lumber. Very good. Another screwdriver. So I'm, I'm quite impressed. The screwdriver makes a really good stabbing weapon in, the, in an emergency. It's quite durable, and it takes quite a lot of uh, punishment before it breaks. I've had these, this screwdriver since the first episode, and it uh, still hasn't broken on me yet. More screwdrivers. So I've got enough weapons for the moment. There we go, more nails. I don't, uh, I probably, I really don't need that many screwdrivers, but I'll take another axe as well. Oh, I've got, it's probably overkill, but I'll take what we can. So we've got one of those. I don't know what the trellis kit does, but we'll take that just in case. Oh, another pellet of lumber. More nails. Right. I think I think we're we're pretty good. I think we got everything we need. We don't we don't want to get greedy, so. Luckily, this bag I've got is actually quite big, so I might actually be able to fit the lumber into my backpack. Not very realistic, I know, but, um, yep, it's going to work. I don't think you can carry three pellets of lumber inside a backpack, but, um, hey. Now, this is a mod. The, uh, the mod I'm using is the backpack mod, and that was, uh, that was a piece of advice by one of my subscribers who gave me some 
uh, a bit of insight into some some mods that he enjoys using. And the reason why I'm using it for this series is because it just makes it a bit easier for my tutorials. When I'm when I'm trying to grab items to show you guys how to build stuff or how to do things, it just means that I can grab grab everything I need really quickly. It it makes it a bit more convenient. So unfortunately, I don't turn these mods off between games. So sometimes um, it, it does make the game a little bit easier. But um, yeah, it's just something uh, something that. Uh, has made this little series a little bit easier for me. I've got uh, three full pallets of wood. Now um, we might have to use some of our new weapons to uh, to clear out these Zeds. It appears that the horde has unfortunately came in on my doorstep. So let's uh, let's get rid of these guys. Not all of them, just a couple. So we just take these guys out and we should be fine. There we go. And we'll throw all these uh, pallets of wood upstairs. And some climbing around in there. That's not good. So, yeah, as I said, I blocked off the top floor. There's our three pallets of lumber. 14, and I've gone overboard on the nails. I've got 14 boxes of nails, so... We're definitely right for uh, for nails. We've got trellis, wood glue, screwdrivers. I don't need this many. Just chuck chuck these down. I'll keep a spare and plenty of axes. So we're we're I think we're really good for hardware. Now I'll chuck these books away. We'll be able to have the farming book. And I grabbed these garbage bags so we can create a water collector. I'll chuck that disinfectant in there. And our whiskey bottles. Not planning on not planning on creating any molotovs yet. The hordes aren't too bad. Although, uh, I can hear that there's quite a lot of zombies outside, so we might just clean house a bit. And then, once I've done that, I'll read my carpentry books. Chuck these uh, garbage bags in here. I think we're pretty good. We've got, we've got nearly everything we need. So, looking good. A couple of water bottles. And I'm going to fill up this water bottle. It's nearly empty. Oh. Now that is really worrying. That zombie somehow managed to get up here. Despite the fact I blocked that off. Unless they can climb ropes, then... I have no idea how they managed to get in here. I reckon that'll be the same one that was was running around in here. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Grab something to eat. Just do a quick run around and then I'm going to go up and I'm going to read that book. And then we're going to test out the advice I was given. I just want to make sure there's none that are too close. Yeah, I think we're good. We'll take out those stragglers down there. Whoa. So you got to watch corners in this game. That was really, really, really careless of me. That could have ended really bad. Oh, yeah. And I went to all that trouble trying to get an axe, and, the, and that guy had one. So that's good. That means I'll be able to use the axe as a weapon. I've got some spares. 
Alright, that'll do for now. Yes, yeah, so the horde looks like they've spawned right on my base. They've spawned right on me. I think that'll do. So what we're going to do is we're going to read this book. And that should... Oh, now that's... There's something weird going on here. This is a, this was a secure base, so... That really worries me. There's absolutely no way they could have gone in here. I had this place sealed. So they must be spawning in here, which means that I have to, I'll have to start sleeping in here. In case any spawn during the night. Okay. So, yeah, that's a bit of a worry. What I might do is I'm going to pick this chair up. And I'm going to put it down here. Okay, and that means I can sleep in either room, this one or this one. Grab our book, and we'll um, we'll head upstairs, and uh, we'll start reading. So one things in reading, one thing you should keep in mind when reading books, always try and read a book outside. If you're outside, then you won't get the the debuff of being bored and eventually being depressed. So I'm standing on this roof, as long as it doesn't rain, I'm going to be pretty pretty safe here. And this is going to give me the, the boost to my carpentry skill. And we're going to use that, we're going to do a little bit of carpentry, create some barricades, barricade some windows, chop up some wood, make some weapons, all that good stuff. And uh, eventually we'll get to level 4 carpentry. And then I'll read my next book. And then we'll work our way up to level 6 carpentry. And then we'll I'll be able to attempt to build a staircase. And I'll build that up to a platform. And then we'll knock the staircase out. And we'll have a floating platform in the sky. A floating castle. So that's it. We've read our carpentry book, and we now have a a boost to our carpentry skill, a uh, four times boost, I believe it is. It'll tell me here. Uh, it's a uh, doesn't say. Ah, uh, multiply five. So I now learn carpentry five times as fast. Which means that uh, that means five times five times less wood I'm going to need, and I think we're we're pretty set. So that's it for the second episode of the series. I hope you enjoyed it. Shout out again to Miguel Angel and Leandro R, who gave me the, the idea to create the floating base, and uh, I will link the video that they created. And hopefully you can have a bit of a look there and see uh, see some of the really cool stuff that, that they've done. And in the next episode, we're going to do some more carpentry. I'm going to grind up to level 4 of carpentry. And then I'm going to read the next carpentry book and then hopefully get my way up to level 6. When we've done that, I'll have a, a nice little secure base. A, flo a floating base in the sky, probably out this way. And... We'll, we will have passed the challenge. I'll, um, I'll get a base going. Farm, water collector, all that good stuff. Totally secure base. And um, we'll see. It'll be interesting to see what the hordes look like. Uh, if you can survive past a couple of weeks. Eventually, 
obviously the hordes will get too much and um, the game might crash, but uh, we'll have fun finding out what those limits are. So if you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe as always. Leave me more comments. Um, if you do leave useful comments, I will mention you as I have this week. And um, yeah, if you, you leave me something really, really useful, um, yeah, it, it, you'll be able to change the direction of the series like uh, what the guys have done here. So until next time, Skill Incarnate out.